those lights off the tractor, you might be wondering now, what is he putting on the tractor again? Oh well, it's not just a little bit. It's, I think I counted it, it's around 800 watts of lights. So let's take a look at it. Here it is. So this is what I took off. The six lamps here are the work lights and these two are the low beams that are going back on. And this. Here is what's coming on. <laughs> it's just so awesome. Okay, so we have six lights, uh, 40 watts. Uh, these are the same, uh, that, uh, these are not the same. These are the ones that are replacing the ones we took off. You can see they have the side mount. So they will fit in the new mounts we made earlier. And here are six lights that are 60 watts. And uh, these have the straight down mount. Uh, they come. Um, they came with uh, Dutch contacts, I think they're called, uh, with the end, so nice and easy to hook up. These I need to wire again. These will be using the original wires that we took this one off from. And uh, these are the one I need to pull wires for. And I also have a LED bar here for uh, high beam. And that's for when I'm going to the dump site. It's a lot of road, not much light there. So I saw this fall, it was a little bit terrible to drive with. Only the tractor's high beam, they are not that good. And I also ordered a bunch of marking lights, uh, orange. And uh, yeah, we'll see. Maybe I will put a few of them around the tractor somewhere where I figure out they look good. And this, <laughs> okay, so this was one of my plans. I ordered all these and was thinking about where I would put them. And I ordered this. This is a flash module. So this can make any LED flash. Uh, so it's the same as this one. Uh, you have the left and the right. So I can put left and right and connect them to this. And when I give this one power, they start to flash. Uh, but these are not that bright, so I don't see the, see the point of having these ones flashing. So that was my first thought um, before I bought this LED bar here, uh, was using these ones at night instead of the one on the roof. And But these are not bright and they are not approved for using as that when you're working on the road, so it would just be trouble. So I'm glad I went with this one because this one looks really good and the remote is really nice, only hooking it up with positive and negative power and you are up running with a wireless remote, really great. So. I will probably not be using this one for these anymore. Uh, today is Friday and uh, my plan is to use the weekend doing this. So there are quite a few hours going into this. These ones are really easy. That's just uh, installing this, uh, yeah, the plug, you know, and um, let, let's see, <laughs> you, you probably don't know. Just installing these plugs on all these lights in here in the garage, out, put the new mounts in and so for switching the lights that are not run by the original uh, wiring, uh, I bought this. So this is a relay, not a relay, it's a control box. <laughs> and it uses USB, this one, that goes to this panel. So this is double sided tape. So you can just drill a hole in the middle and uh, there we have it. So that's my plan. I will, in the one of the pilers on the tractor, I will uh, install this one and uh, it will sit there and then the USB will go down to this control box that I will wire up the lights that don't have uh, original wiring. So, as we can see, they are pretty bright. That's uh, no doubt about it. But I do think, I think they are a little bit spot. You can see it's a spot on my garage door over there. And uh, same if we go up in the roof, it's a spot, so yeah, I'm not too big fan of that. I ordered these ones with floodlight, and we can see the box does say shit, but my, uh, my listing when I bought them said it. So we can see this is the 40 watt, and uh, yeah, it's, it's not the same uh, for sure, but this one does spread a lot more. So, yeah, I don't know. I'm guessing this is probably a lot more light than the original ones is, but uh, 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 let's see. We can test one of the original ones also. Okay, no worries. <laughs> this is the original one. It's, yeah, the, the 40 watt LED, a lot more light than this. 
Wow. I'm actually amazed how little light is it. This is. Let's see how many watts this one is pulling. Just for the fun of it. Ah, four. Four amps. It's pulling. So that's something like. Yeah, that's that's about 50. 50 watts this one is. You know when you start something and suddenly you have taken everything apart? Oh well, it happened here also. I have all these marking lights, uh, orange, and I'm not quite sure where I should put them. So what I don't know, I hooked three up together and two battery, and then with this <laughs> test setup and some double-sided tape, I will go out and try and place them places on the tractors where, where I think it might look good with some lights like this and uh, yeah just uh, look and see how it looks probably hard to see on the camera but in the steps so I didn't have enough wire on it but I'm thinking one under the door up here one under the first step one under the next and one under the next down there so you will get some orange lighting on the ground also this is the position I'm thinking of mounting them so just made my mark where I want the edge of this one to be and um, I don't have that much room against the window back here so I have to be careful drilling here but Ooh, that went fast. and as cold as we have it outside you don't have to wait too long for it to dry either so that little blob there, it will keep the wires secured from snow and other things that you might drive the, these steps into. So, <clears throat> I'm one on each side, made them ready here, and yeah, you get a little bit more light out on the corner. So, I think that will work pretty good with that placement. There they are, lights installed. I think this will work really great. Can be adjusted a little bit probably as time goes and we see where, which way we need them to point but yeah for now I think this is, will work good <laughs> yeah I think yeah uh, I think this will work pretty good now I have light in front of the tractor let's see switch this one off yeah that's actually something I was yeah that's more or less what I was planning, so... So the biggest difference here is this one from Biltema, it's power and uh, and the yellow one is for switching. Uh, so it comes with uh, outlet for the cigarette lighter in the, the car and then you have one momentary switch you push and then you are changing the pattern on this one. Uh, and on this one it's a remote as we have seen. So. This one you switch on and you switch forward, backward, cruise, night. Both LED warning LED bars are now on. And as you can see, the light is, yeah, I would say they are approximately just the same. Uh, this one, you can't see the LEDs and it feels like it's flashing a little bit more upwards also. Not only out to the sides like this one does. So this one I couldn't fit on the tractor and today I was in a shop and uh, they had this one and uh, the internet has been full of uh, promising words about this one uh, lately so I bought it and uh, yeah, here it is ready to be installed on the tractor. So I will use the mounts that are in the back and just drill some holes for that and the plastic roof and uh, secure it there some way. 
So that's the plan to what I'm doing right now. Let's get this one on and uh, then we are finished with the light installation on the high beam. I will connect to this relay or I will jump from this relay under here. Uh, there is a white wire that is going to the high beam switch. So when you push it forward, you get high beam and uh, that activates the relay here. So I don't need to pull any wires from the front on the headlights or anything. I can just steal it from under here. So. So then everything is hooked up. Here is relay for uh, both for relaying power to the control box and relaying power to the light bar on top. All right, here it is, finished, all the lights on. And uh, yeah, the LED bar is not on, but that's for high beam, but for work lights, oh man, this is great. There is lights everywhere. Mm -hmm. 